This video is on prescribing prisms. You prescribe patients prisms for people suffering from diplopia, also known as double vision. And people suffering from diplopia can sometimes have an eye turn. There's different types of eye turn. This, this eye turn, the person's eye is facing outwards, this one's facing inwards, this one upwards, this one downwards. Again, from a previous video, you can remember that a prism moves an object. It makes the object appear to move. So here's the object here, and here's the image, eye for image. So the object appears to move this way. It always moves towards the apex. This is the apex over here. So to treat diplopia, you can use a prism because you can move the image towards the apex. So let's bring in the prism, and let me mark the uh, the base. So the base would be over here. Let's make this the base of the prism, and let's make this the apex of the prism. So for an extra trope here, to treat for diplopia, if this patient is suffering from diplopia or double vision, you want to do base in, in the right eye, so the image will move towards the apex, it will move towards the apex to the left, the image will move towards uh, the left, so therefore the image will move towards the eye, and therefore the patient will not experience diplopia or double vision. So same thing uh, with esotropia, esotropia is when you have the eye turning inwards, so you do base outwards, you do base out. Let me just try to move this triangle. So you do base out. Again, the image moves towards the apex. So it moves towards the eye. So therefore, it will eliminate the plopia. If you have a hypotropia, you can do a base down to treat the hypotropia. And then if you have hypotropia, you do a base up. Again, you want to move the image towards the eye to eliminate double vision or diplopia.